from across the globe, and welcome to the 1056th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and that would be me. Good evening, traders. It is Monday night for trading, Tuesday, August 6, 2013. What do we have on the board? Two very interesting topics. One, Omni says, do not listen to the street and stay with the buy the dips mentality for trading on Tuesday. I know that seems a little scary because everyone out there is trumpeting the top is in, but Omni says no. I so it's no, we put out the no, we put out the up arrow, we go to look for a place to get long. So that's what I did. I looked at the charts and I think I found a very convincing argument for the Omni arrow in the US indices. Then we have gold. Traders, Omni says continue to sell gold because charts do not lie, but people's attitudes, oh, the top is in all the time. They call it, they've been calling the top since 1200. And every gold bug out there thinks gold is going to 3000, but Omni called the top at 1720, an official top at 1680, and we're trading at 1299, 1305, somewhere around there. So I'm not quite sure what you gold bugs are looking at, but again, charts don't lie. Try using the charts. That is what I teach here at the Omni Trading Academy, and I will show you how to make these incredible calls. Traders, we know futures trading is extremely risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Futures trading is not suitable for all trading accounts, especially if you think you can trade gold without knowing what you're doing. So. All right, traders, I'm going to make this quick. The chart segment is going to be about why does Omni want to stay in the buy the dip mentality? Why does Omni want to continue to sell gold? Traders, knock on, you know, it, it, knock on, what do you call my head these days? Is it wood? Is it, what's it made out of? Because we have Omni going now for eight weeks with one bad call in the E-mini S&P and or NASDAQ. Omni makes a call every day, sometimes two calls a day. We have gone for eight weeks. We had one slip up last Thursday and you saw me get the black eye, right? We went right back into buying and trading correctly. Omni jumped right back on the bandwagon. If you would like to learn how to make these Omni calls exactly the way Omni has pulled an eight-week winning streak, you come on down to LiveWithOscar.com and click the OmniCamp application. I am holding an OmniCamp at the end of September, last weekend in September. It is me training you for four days and nights on how to call these Omni arrows exactly the way I call them. If you think you can use that help, come on down to LiveWithOscar.com, click the OmniCamp application banner, which is top right, and I will do the rest. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Traders, Oscar Carboni is holding another OmniCamp live in Las Vegas. OmniCamp is an intensive four-day course taught by the Wall Street whiz Oscar Carboni himself. Oscar has been analyzing markets and trading commodities on and off the New York trading pits for over 30 years. Trading for a living is a very difficult business. Oscar will simplify the process so that you can easily understand and analyze the markets. Classes are limited. For more information, call 702-629-4755. Our phones are staffed 24-7. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. Trading futures is not suitable for all accounts. Okay, traders, right off the bat, I want to show you the gold chart. December gold daily bar chart. I have shown this chart to you before. Bear flag leads to a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth, a seventh. Seven bear flags. The interesting thing about each bear flag, they produce a breakdown. Every time you see one, you get a breakdown. What is gold going to do on Tuesday? It should start off with a breakdown. That's what bear flags are. They are indications that the market has gotten tired. There's been a lot of distribution and the market is getting ready to crack. So, you know, here it is, bear flag leads to another, the crack leads to another, the crack leads to another, a crack leads to another. I say gold breaks 1300 for trading on Tuesday. Let's see. Now, traders, why is Omni calling for another green arrow when everyone in the world out there is calling for the downside? Well, 
Omni gives me a green arrow. I start doing research. First thing I look at is the Russell. Well, one of the 20, 30, 40 charts I looked at tonight. One of them was the Russell. Bull flag right here, I'd have to say yes. Flag pull, I'd have to say yes. Bull flag breakout, I'd have to say yes. New channel beginning, I'd have to say yes to all of it. So, all right, I found one good reason why Omni's calling a green arrow. Let's continue to do more analysis. The German DAX. Traders, is this a bull flag building? You already have two bars in this bull flag. You'd only need one, maybe two more, and it would be done. You can have two flag bars, two bar flags. I've seen them before. So we have a flag pole and two bars already filled in. Is this a bull flag building in the DAX? I have to say yes, my personal opinion. I would say that's a bull flag building. Another reason to think why Omni is correct for coming up with the green arrow for Tuesday. Then we have the NASDAQ traders. I've been showing you this chart since the bull flag formed itself. And I gave you two projections. I have not touched this chart. I just keep showing it to you in video after video. I showed you 3119 would get hit, and the next thing to get hit is 3147 based on projections off the bull flag. Well, 3119 surely was hit. We're all the way up here. 3147 should get tagged on Tuesday. Bravo for technical analysis. I mean, come on, traders. There's nothing better than this. Come on down to lavalastra.com and allow me to teach this to you, especially if you'd like to sit with me during OmniCamp. Next, here's another reason. Let's look at the E-mini S&P, traders. E-mini S&P. Support. Let's talk about support. Support is what resistance used to be, then becomes support. So resistance, resistance, get above it, and it becomes support. So make it simple. If you had a trend line here and you hit it and failed and hit it and failed, this is now resistance. When you get above it and come down, it becomes support. And away you go. So that's how resistance and support lines work in a general, in a general description. So here we are. Trend line, parallel trend line looks fantastic. Also comes in with this stuff from back here, right? It looks like you had a previous high. You got above it, tested it a few times, rallied up. This day was right at the low, this line of the previous highs. And now, if you ask me, this is building a little bull flag right here. Let me, let me blow this chart up for you, traders. Let me give you a better view. Same chart, same everything, just zoomed in. Here is what I told you was resistance. If you look, it has established three key points. Resistance point one, resistance point two. This becomes a valid trend line. It now becomes support. Look what it does. This trend line comes straight across. It's resistance. It's resistance. It gets above. Boom, holds the law for support. Boom, holds the law for support. Now, this is what should happen on Tuesday. You should hit this green line, this purple line, and go straight up, support being tested. Now, of course, you want to keep your stops in, because if this support doesn't hold, and of course, that's not my only reason for buying, of course, but if this support doesn't hold, you will want to have your stop in, because it'll go down and stop you out, and that's what stops are for. But for now, with all the other indications that the market should go higher, and what you've seen as resistance turn into support, and this little bull flag building right here, I say S&P goes higher on Tuesday and gold goes lower. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework. Never accept anyone else's opinion about a chart or a market's move unless you compare it to your own analysis. So there you have it, traders. There is my technical argument for Omni's arrow. Omni gives us the green arrow, and Oscar's job is to find out why. There was my argument. I hope that was a good technical argument for you. Pull your charts, do your own homework, and see if the resistance support lines compare. Look at your indicator base. Look at the bonds. Look at the gold. Look at the metals. Look at the grains. Look at the meats. Look at everything, because that's what I do before I come up with an Omni arrow and a decision where the markets should go. All right, traders. So that's it. Omni gave me the green arrow, and then I went and did the homework, and that is what I showed you. Do you agree? If so, put your orders in, get long on dips, sell the rallies in gold, come on down to LiveAlaska.com, and always remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do to help yourselves with that 
is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, because it'll help you keep your emotions at bay. And you know what that is. Stops oh. are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.